that money, I can I buy my own welder, which uh, I end up getting a take welder. I I can buy my own welder and do and learn how to weld and do it myself, and that's what I end up doing. I I end up getting the welder and weld the whole thing. So um, I'm sure I'm gonna show you um, part of that. Okay, like right there. I weld the uh, the O2 sensor on that side. And one of the things that bothers me, well, the, yeah, it's leaking a little oil, <laughs> is that it no matter how many how many times you put the screws on, you put um, uh, thread lock and everything, they come loose. Well, and they, it's always the same one. I don't know why. <laughs> so. So well, you 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 end up with um, uh, a little space, a little space here and there, but you can. Uh, what I did, what um, just hit the, the the chassis uh, with a with a hammer, and you 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 can make more space in there. Um, I I did hit the the chassis on this side, and that and that make them. I end up making a little space, more space in there, and over there I did the same thing. So yeah, they fit right. I mean, this is the whole, this is the whole thing. I weld this, everything by myself, everything, everything I did myself in here. All of this, you don't see popcorn here, it's, it's, it's a good weld. It's a good weld. So now I know I'm missing a screw again. And I need to get one, so. Okay, so this is the uh, radius arm from Robertine and the springs from Robertine. And I got the shock adapter from the, for the bottom part um, for, from Robertine also. And I got, oh, I made the, uh, the steer, uh, steering bar protection. Because one time I was off-roading and I hit something and kind of like put a little bend in there. And, uh, but it's fine, it's fine. I, I think I replaced this bar once. once. So by having this in there, um, it won't the, the whole bar won't bend at all because it hits it hits this wall here. So that's another thing I made for this truck. Oh. Let me see what else. What else? Um, okay, the rock sliders. Now that I remember, I make. I, I make, Let me show you the other side, which we got a light here. So we got, um, I made these things in my uh, old apartment. <laughs> it cost me like, um, what, like $40, not even 40, it was like $35, $32 in material to make them, to make these things. Um, and they're, they're great, tough, tough. Um, what else? Rear bumper, front bumper. The front bumper is from um, Tactical Rovers. They make good, good bumpers, man. Oh, I end up, I, I end up uh, tinting, tinting the uh, this lights. It looks great. It looks great. Oh, and this thing right here. This thing helps helps me um, help bring air into the uh, radiators. It's like a little ram ram air. I, I made it from uh, aluminum from a uh, aluminum piece uh, it's kind of like it's all, it, it has been loose all the time so it's not going anywhere I just like the rattle <laughs> so what else the snorkel is from a um, safety device no this is a mantic snorkel the raft the roof rack is from safety device and um, I ended up breaking the windshield one time uh, off-roading, so that's why I did the uh, the cables in there to keep branches from hitting the windshield. Uh, what else? The rear bumper, tactical rubbers. Uh, I got a, a small winch that is, is great to have. This one is an ATV winch because um, the bumper do, don't have enough space to put a real, like a really good winch, like a real winch. But I'm gonna tell you about this. So one time I was helping a guy that he was stuck in mud, right? And there was a lot of a lot of a lot of trees in there. So every time I I, I pulled the guy, I used the winch to pull the guy, um, end up sli sliding towards the guy. 
So the guy was stuck good. So I used this winch, this winch like a kind of like for um, to attach my truck into with a with a tree. Okay. So I attached the winch to a tree, and and I was able to pull the whole the whole truck. It was like a, a F-150, I think. It stuck in mud like really really bad. So yeah, that, that's how I pulled the guy. And this 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 is a five thousand pound winch. The, the capability or whatever. So I end up doing this uh, right there. This is to um, a little table that I that I made for camping. And so what I do, I, I, I put my coffee maker here and the frother and I can um, do um, cappuccinos and things like that. And I can plug the uh, the coffee maker here because um, the solar panel. We have a solar panel here. It's kind of dirty. <laughs> Got it. That's one thing you have to keep this thing clean if you want it, if if you want them to put uh, good power. So um, the solar panel charges the uh, two batteries that I have here, and um, and you got plenty power to power whatever you want inside this box okay okay see this thing's a mess okay those are um 100 amp i got 200 amp hours here on lithium and i got the uh a smart solar charge which is Bluetooth. Uh, you can hook it up to the uh, to the phone every time, and you know exactly how much power it is in the batteries and everything. So it's great. It's a great system. Awesome. The only thing is that I can probably what I'm what I want to do in the future is um, put the, the whole system that is in this box put it here somewhere. So that way I have space for um, more things. And this is two, two foldable kayaks that I have. <laughs> so the truck is like ready for adventures all the time. The only thing is time. I don't have time to go out. <laughs> that happens. Oh boy. It's the other way. It's like this, I think. Yeah. So when I'm not using it, it's fold like that. So, and now um, the last thing is the wrap. I mean, I know somebody, some, some, some people don't like the, uh, the look of the zebra, but I love it. I really love it. It fits with the truck and the leaf and the tires and everything. <laughs> and this is the uh, hood. The hood is like beautiful, man. It's all the same size, same height. Um, and I just ceramic coat the whole thing. It's, it has been ceramic coated, coated. But yeah, man, this truck has been extremely reliable. Traction control works, CD. Oh, I did the, uh, I forgot to talk about that. Um, this is an O3. It's an O3 with central diff lock. Okay, I did that upgrade uh, back in 2009, I think. So I think I did the lockers first. I, I did it, uh, the, 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 the ARB lockers first, and then I did that. Um, yeah. Oh, what else? Uh, another thing is the, uh, the headliner. You see the headliner? I did the headliner back in 2009, probably, and it's still holding beautiful. It's dirty, bro. I'm not gonna lie, but um, it's no, it's no, it's no. I mean, it's perfect. I mean, for for the truck. I seen people. Um, I don't uh, black because um, um, a lot of people ask me to do these things to to their trucks. But this paint, I I, I don't I, I don't know what, how to get this paint. I don't know the name. I don't know anything. So I end up always getting the uh, 
the bell liner sprayers on the uh, from auto parts and they don't look good at all um, this is like the best the best look that I seen so what else what well, we got the shocks I got um, 12 inch of, of, of travel on, on, on each side uh, on my shocks so I got I'm running Fox shocks in front and rear and they, let me tell you they extend the 12 inch they use that travel they use it so the trucks articulate pretty good not gonna lie it's not a it's not a spider it's just a, this truck is kind of like for um, overlanding you know so I don't I don't do rock crawling or anything like that. I guess like um, to go camping, to go to the mountains, to go to the tra those trails. If I see mud, I'm not I'm not gonna be scared of mud. Uh, if I get stuck, I use my winch and that's it. I use my lockers and I air down the tires and that's it. Okay. So now you guys know if you guys are looking to get into uh, the discoveries. Okay, make sure. When you buy, when you go, if you're gonna go buy one, uh, get um, make sure you get the um, OBD2 scanner with real life, real real data, uh, real lifetime data. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so that way you can see the temperature in the uh, in the in the scanner. Because what you wanna do, you wanna run the truck and drive it around before you buy. It. So you want to drive it around and see the temperatures. If